is up everyone? My name's Snake Venom. Welcome to the Rocket League Summer Event or the Summer Update, whatever you want to call it, but introducing Salty Shores. Now this map is, ooh, it's beautiful. I absolutely love this map, but there's a couple things that you guys may or may not have noticed. There are some Easter eggs, of course, in every single map. There is at least one Moai, and I have found it, or I believe I have found it. But anyways, I'm going to get right into the Easter eggs. So my first and favorite one would actually have to be over here at the merry-go-round. Now, as you can see, you probably already see it, but there it is. The white hat going around this merry-go-round. It kind of makes me upset because I was supposed to get one, but oh well. Right over here, we got the diamond parking garage, or the diamond members only. Now, I find this quite humorous because I'm not allowed in there. Because I only hit uh, Plat 3, Division 4 last season, and I was so close to touching diamond, but looks like that's <laughs> looks like that's not going to happen. But maybe this season, maybe. Now, there's also one thing that I noticed, a little glitch. I don't know if this was intended or not, but the birds, they just... Yeah. They just clip right to the wall. They don't care. Alrighty, and another Easter egg. I'm gonna leave the Moai for last to see if you guys can spot it. And do you guys remember this? This little buoy right here? You probably don't, but this is actually from the Aqua Dome update. This buoy was actually sitting on the ocean. And if you remember, in the Aqua Dome update trailer, it showed a beach. Now I'll put this about side by side with another one. The one from the trailer. And you guys will see that this is the exact same buoy. That's from the Aqua Dome update. Now in the Aqua Dome update, it showed that the ball went flying out of the beach. It hit the buoy and went into the ocean, revealing Aqua Dome and the new cars, the Triton and Proteus. Anyways, moving over to here on the pier. Nothing too special, just a bunch of little shops. We have a surfer shop, a bait shop that's actually spelled B-A-E-T shop. Bait, like bay. I'm so sorry for that. Over here we got the, um, I believe this is called, the, yeah, the Scrambler Roller Coaster. Although it only has one loop, so it's not really a Scrambler. And then you have your corkscrew over here in the corner. But, other than that, just a bunch of little shops. I haven't seen what this one is. Actually, what is this? Oh, this is an arcade? Is it because that this is actually an arcade game? Rocket League? It's like based off of an arcade. Ooh! Hold up, I have not seen this before. Is this another concept art? This has got to be concept art. That's actually really neat. Now over here we see posters. Something to look like BMX, uh, Rocket League poster. Something that looks like the Grand Canyon and Najika Ring. What could that be? If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments down below. Or, you could do what most people do and just not comment at all. That's, that, that works with me. Now over here on the stands, we got the little Rocket League emblems. We got the blue one, and we got the orange one. Now, but the funny thing is about these logos is that they actually still have the trademark on it. <laughs> they have the trademark emblem to allow, you know, the trademark that, that's theirs. Over here, we got the Psionics headquarters. We got the RLCS streaming building. Just a bunch of neat skyscrapers, just to give it a little, um, like a little city touch to it. Over here, we got the airplane. Now, there's nothing too special about the airplane, although it does carry a banner behind it saying Rocket League all across. I think it should say something like, like it should say go and then have your username behind it. I think that would be pretty neat to add, but this, it's already polished as it is. As you can see, you can see the solar flares, like how beautiful that is. Wow. This map is absolutely incredible, and I love it so much. Something beef bowl. We got a topper shop with the Viking helmet over here, trying to walk, probably referring to Neo Tokyo or something Neo Tokyo. And then here's a nice little thing: <laughs> Dave's Bread Factory. It looks like a bread factory, or it might be just a bread shop, but that's referring to Dave's Bread, of course. Over here we got. This looks like somewhat of a library this brown building right here with this big orb on the top eh, I don't really know oh a nice uh, a neat little fun fact for you guys is that these mountains in the background are actually not images these are actually rendered with all of the plants on it and everything it's completely rendered 
Now, I was able to get out of the map and show you guys, but I don't think I can perform that glitch again. I think I'm going to save that for another video. But way over here on this side of the beach, there's a couple more there's a couple more lifeguard huts, but nothing too special about them. Nothing hiding, although there is a little glitch with some foliage back there. Yeah, other than that, I really enjoy this stage. I think I've already said that way too much. But on to the final last Easter egg. This one took me a while to find. You guys can probably already see it, but there it is. Now you may be thinking, what is that? You guys are in for a treat. That right there is the Moai. The rocks that are stacked, it perfectly represents the Moai. I'll put the Moai on screen next to it and you will see that this is a Moai constructed out of a bunch of boulders sitting on the side of the beach. Yeah, so that's all I got for you guys on this stage. If you find anything new or anything that's pretty interesting, let me know. Other than that, <laughs> this map is absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.